Our next topic is about money and investment problems. So this is simply involving the relationship of, of the amount of money. So to illustrate problem number four, admission tickets to a theater were 60 pesos for adults and 25 pesos for children. The total amount collected was 14,000 and the total attendance was 280 persons. How many adults attended that day? Okay. So, we have adults and children attended a theater. So, 280 persons total. Then, the amount collected from the admission fee is 14,000. Okay. So, first, we can represent the number of people. So, let x equal to the number of adults attended. And since there are a total of 280 persons, so if X is the number of adults, then the remaining number of children is 280 minus X. Then, if you multiply the admission fee multiplied by the number, then when you add up adults and children, the total is 14,000. So that is 60 times X plus 25 times 280 minus x equal to 14,000. And from this, we can solve for x equal to 200. Problem number 12. A company owns stock in HBF selling at 54 pesos per share, GCG selling at 65 pesos per share, and BTB selling at 105 pesos per share. The company owns equal shares of HBF and GCG and five times as many shares of BTB. If, if this portfolio is worth 450,800, how many shares of BTB does the company own? Okay, so again, we will start by representation. Let X equal to the number of shares of the HBF. Then Y is the number of shares from GCG. And Z, number of shares from BTB. And then we have the amount per share. Then we have the total amount. So we have, if we add 54X, so this is coming from HBF plus 65Y coming from GCG, plus 105Z coming from BTB, equal to 450,800. Next, we have the company owns equal shares of HBF and GCG, meaning X is equal to Y. Or we can write X minus Y equal to 0. Then we have 5 times as many shares of BTB. Na? So GCG has five times as many shares as BTB. So meaning we have Y or Z is equal to 5X. Or we have negative X plus Z equal to 0. Okay? So we have now three equations containing three unknowns. You can use the calculator in order to solve for the requirements. And the question is, how many shares of BTB does the company owns? And that is Z. So we have here BTB 3,500 shares. Number five, a man invests 4,000 at one interest rate and invests 5,000 at a rate 1% greater than the first. Find the rate of the interest of the first investment if the total income annually is 156 pesos. Okay? So we have 4,000 invested at the required, no? So this is the interest rate in question. Then 5,000 is invested at another, in another investment uh, in which the interest rate is 1% greater. So, find the rate of interest of the first investment. The total income is 156. Okay? So, we will recall that the interest of money is principal times the interest rate. So, here, the
the interest of the 4,000 plus the interest of the 5,000 is equal to 156. So we can write 4,000 times or let x equal to the rate of interest of the first. No? Then the second is 1% greater x plus 0 0.01. Okay? So we can write 4,000 times x plus 5,000 times x plus 0 0.01. The total is 156. And x here is equal to 1.18%.